Good morning. Good morning. It's one of those days, eh? Good morning, good morning. Shauna James, good morning to you. Miss K, good morning. Good morning, guys. I don't know why YouTube has been doing this to me, but everything has been running very, very slow. I, I don't know if it's YouTube or it's the system or what. But everything has been just slow. You, you come on and you can't get a signal and all these things. You know, the new talk is all these things, right? So, good morning, guys. Rohan plays 55. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. This morning, we're making um, one of my first timers but I, I thought i thought to myself as a self the ideas can work dz dz those <laughs> good morning to you I, 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 dzd yeah let me let me let me leave it right there before we mess up your name all right can you believe that we're trying to have breakfast this morning and it 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 consists of a dinner item well I don't really know if the, anything you can eat anytime, see? You know, can eat anything you want. You can do whatever you like. Yay! So, the, um, LaShawn, good morning to you. Shone, good morning to you. Annette Brown, good morning to you. Beautiful, beautiful morning, guys. Beautiful morning. Let me throw the live chat up so that everybody can yeah good morning good morning good morning i'm not about showing you me it's about the the shrimp i'm trying to prepare the shrimp so it's one of those days have you ever had one of those days guys when everything start out somewhat good and then it just don't want to stay good in Jamaica, we call it crosses. It's one of those days. I'm trying to peel these shrimps, guys. I don't think that is absolutely 100% necessary to show y'all on camera. Keisha Byron, good morning. I, I As soon as I'm done showing the shrimps, look like Saint Hope gone all the way at James Bond from in the vlog profile. <laughs> <laughs> you mean that one in my suit? E e <laughs> Magsta, you mean that one in my suit? Yeah, man, I so say you have to step out. You can't, I mean, you can't go to New York and look boring. You understand? And New York, you know? it's up to you, New York. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I wanna be a part of it. New York, New York. Yeah, you have to step out. You can't just boring in New York. so and then yes it's true me i go do stand up comedy and you want you want people to book you again you have to impress them you see you have to impress them you have to do your best to impress them yeah yeah you all right i'm almost done guys almost ready to show you all my list of ingredients <clears throat> So this morning I said to myself, I said, self, we need to do some stuff. And I, 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 I'm tired of the same breakfast, the same boring things. Big up yourself from the Bronx, yeah? Brooklyn in the house, New York in the house, and Bronx is in the house. Big up on yourself, you don't know, you see? 
all right so i said to myself i want to do something special i want to do something different i didn't want the same boring you know long we we had a, the supermarket and we had a place i try to find out what to eat because sometimes the breakfast thing boring star is the same old same old and i'm tired of it so this morning we decided to step out of the box and we're gonna make some shrimp fritters yeah like saltfish fritters and it she my beloved wife is right here see her there so she hungry so she eat um almond crisps watch her <laughs> so this morning we said we keep me some key and butter so we're gonna make some shrimp fritters all right and let me just show you real quick my list of ingredients because this is one two three now we're done you know one two three and we're done i have some um um onion there scallion and i put the scallion in two separate um section because me go do them use them two separate way me have a little bit of time me have one tomato me have my original green seasoning this is what i made who made green seasoning and, and the link is gonna be in the in somewhere at the top of the page you yeah, gonna see a little bubble pop up and yeah um and you can click on that to learn how to make a green season and i have about 14 shrimps yes i count them 14 shrimps because i don't have money to waste and and by using all of my shrimp to make shrimp fritters 14 shrimp all right let me just tell you that to me all right so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna chop up my shrimp yes it's uptown um um fritters uptown fritters uptown top ranking love is our uh, library you know my car keys good morning time. guys i'm so sorry for the late appearance but i was super hungry i don't uh, know if it's a thing with age but i used to have a high tolerance for hunger but of late i find that if i'm hungry i start getting cross angry and miserable and she has been cross angry and miserable jesus <laughs> hallelujah thank you for your admittance because i wasn't gonna say it you see me idiot i'm gonna live here all the married women so who know morning. know what you do good you morning. guys know what your husbands have to go through in life all the married yeah, ladies have nothing to do with marriage it have to do with marriage because we're both in the same boat b-o-a-t boat <laughs> <laughs> you understand and if you mother angry and cross and miserable me if i have mother angry and cross and miserable because no yeah because we're two the two of us is one no because you're not, not in this case no but the case is this you know us stop. are one so one one person is supposed to you know help the other person if you see that they need you know a little bit of boost help me so if i'm angry and cross then you need to be overly jovial to balance me out all right all right so you want balance a slice of bread with some tea <laughs> <laughs> i'm just i'm just chopping up my shrimp guys yeah i'm doing it uh the camera not set darling um all right so i'm gonna slice them down the bias no i have 24 shrimp <laughs> no 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 me just slice them up just so i wash them off now okay combo of hungry and hungry <laughs> and angry right that's been reaching me especially like if i'm on the road walking up and down and i'm hungry oh my gosh like, it's like it's like this my mood, my mood does switch like this I don't mood. no no not the top of i never i was never like this i was a never she like this vampire, matter of fact in general i have a very high tolerance for discomfort overall I can, you know, yeah, push yeah, through. Tell people them something they might girl make their discomfort yeah, the other time. No, no, no. Why you always put yourself in everything? Because I'm here. Really, I'm sir? Here right sure. I'm here. But me. yeah, <laughs> I have a, I have very high tolerance for, you know, enduring uncomfortable situations. So, this is like new to me. This is like un, unimaginable, unexplainable. It's not understandable. Why am I this way? Pray for me. The devil I can't phone you. <laughs> the devil not doing nothing to me. Don't make the devil can't phone you. That's not telling you. Then time it, the devil tell us say hungry say you see? And it's at the end of the day you guys can't do without us. Period. <laughs> okay? 
Oh, please. Period. Annette, Annette, nobody start, Annette. In Jesus' name, not start. <laughs> Morning, Dwight Hall. Thank you for loving the show. Pray that you stick and stay. I know what Dwight have about me right away. Steady in McCoy. Good day to you too and to your family. All right. So the next thing that we want to do, guys, we wash the shrimp and we're just going to rough chop them. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to do it too tiny. No, we're not we're gonna do it too tiny. We're just gonna. We don't want shrimp essence. We want to actually. As a matter of yeah, fact, I'm shrimp. just passing the knife through them one, maybe one time, you know, um, so that we, we balance it. Make sure, say, everybody get a little piece of shrimp in at them. Why it looks so small? It looks small. Like you want more shrimp? See, I just look a breakfast when I make man. Why you not be in yourself? No, I mean, as um, the ratio of shrimp to flour. And that's okay. That's fine. You don't need any more. She just want done off people's shrimps. Mm. It look a little bit for true, but... You want more shrimp tonight? You're gonna saute it or you're just gonna... I'm gonna saute it. I'm gonna saute it right, right quick. Alright, so see, we have, we have a little shrimp right there. And guys, you can mix this with anything where you want. You know, you could have put like a salt fish with it to balance it. Mm -hmm. And guys, she dance. We have salt fish. You know, so we have You want salt fish? She dance, guys. So you know what that means? A hungry attack right now. No. Anytime. Yeah, you know you can do the craven dance. She do one craven dance in here. Hi, <laughs> sir. So yeah, so we are about to. Let me get the flour. Oh, you got to saute that first, right? Yeah. All right, so let us tell you a little bit about the other dry ingredients that I'm going to be working with. All right, let me move this out the way. Go ahead. Move this. Yeah, go ahead. Of course, the base of any fritters is flour. So I have two and a half cups of flour right here. Hope half is good? Yeah, without the juicy, juicy. So to get out the juicy, juicy part? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna have to cut the tomatoes. Just cut cut out the, the middle of the tomatoes like such. Open back there, yeah. <laughs> Guys, you are funny. No, he funny. Oh. I'm Theros. You know <coughs> Theros. <laughs> Alright, so I have Did your thing pause? Hold on. No, it's right here. Yeah, it's it not moving. Black, yeah. Plug it off. Guys, are we back? Let us know if we're back. We had a brief break in transmission. Wave your hand in front of the camera. Wave your hand if you love the Lord. Hey. Wave your hand. Wave your hand. Hey. Okay. All right. So they say we're back. All right. So. Two and a half cups of um, unbleached all-purpose flour. <laughs> Why you can't talk it without talking? <laughs> unbleached. <laughs> <laughs> so like pasta. And unbleached. Of, and of course, you need to have a little bit of raisin agent. So I'm using Clubber Girl. <laughs> so when I, when I buy raisin? Clubber Girl baking powder. Yeah? And I don't know how much I'm going to use yet. You said we need raisin agent. Raisin agent. So we're gonna buy a raisin. <laughs> Is that funny, guys? I don't think it's funny. All right. So we have seasoned salt here, Laurie's, that we're gonna use to, you know, add a little bit of, of flavor and saltiness, not too much. And uh, we have paprika. I like putting paprika in my fritters. And we have cayenne. And we have cayenne too. Yeah, come cayenne. We have cayenne over here. Cayenne in the house. Eh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. And Old Bay. You see, because it's a seafood thing, seafood and Old Bay are like brothers and, and sisters. sisters. You see all of the seafood that they have on the package here? Old Bay is a must with your seafood, guys. It's Don't a sleep. Must. No sleep. Punch it's Old a Bay. Must. All right, so once again, let me give you guys a tutorial because I realize that most of you have not yet hit the thumbs up button. So it's now that time of the day for the tutorial. Now, follow me. Watch me. Watch me. All right. So this is your phone, right? This is my phone, but let's say this is your phone. 
and you're on the video you're watching yardy belly live and yeah 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 having a good time and a a all right so we have the live chat open which is what you guys probably are looking at so that you can read the messages while you watch the video however in order to support yardy belly tv in a more ostentatious way go on my girl big word <laughs> <laughs> all you have to do is just x out the chat for a little not for long just for a little so you hit the x button right there and it brings you to the main page where you will see the thumbs up button the thumbs down button which you will never ever hit and all them something there and so you go ahead you hit the thumbs up button right now it says that there's a like from me and then in order to get back to the live chat you just hit this live chat icon right here bam and you are back in business all right how was that tutorial so now i see 19 people online i'ma just pause for a minute so i see 19 <laughs> likes go on my girl all right i'm pausing for a little bit okay okay all right so over there we have a zip with the flower tutorial yeah i'm finished with the flower tutorial for now until I can go ahead and add the stuff, but yeah, like when you talk about it. Already. Yeah. All right. So let me go ahead and just add the stuff while we wait on the. Everything is ready, you know. I'm just waiting on you. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna start off by using a half of a tablespoon of the baking powder. You can't put too too much, cause then that will cause the fritters to just get oily overly oily and Melida puffy <laughs> all right so i put that and then everything else guys is just to taste and to taste i mean you just put the amount that you're comfortable with and um that's what i'm gonna do so i'm just eyeballing the the lorries and just putting the amount that i believe would be suitable to our taste but you I can believe. put the amount that is suitable to yours i believe and what I usually do is, because it's fritters and you can adjust it, we just make one or two first and taste if it's fine. And then you can add more of whatever is lacking. All right. I believe. And this will be our salt in. We don't need to put salt when you're using this. All right. And the same thing with the old bay. Eyeball it and put it in. Black yeah, that's enough paprika my big friend which give it a nice color and uh, oomph a little kick bam bam oh the cayenne give it a kick for that um spicy kick cayenne shout out to cayenne my friend from jamaica big up yourself cayenne all right and that is all for now we need black pepper can we have the black pepper i got you I have a pepper medley right here. Oh, hold on. Ooh, fancy. Mm. Yeah, that's enough. 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 Yeah, that's I was gonna put it in the shrimp. Yeah, fine, because I know I don't usually put time, but okay. Alright, so how much onions No, you? don't put that. That one goes in this one goes in that. The the, the green part goes in that. Um the onion goes with the shrimp. I onion for my fritters too. You didn't know I, I thought you part? wanted this okay, go, go ahead. Do do your thing. Do your thing. Mm -mm. This is where you, the flavor is needed. In See, the actual she, she, she knows the shadow, so right. she knows the right thing. So I think this is, I don't remember, uh, this a half of an onion? Uh, yeah. Alright, so put that onion in the flour. Put your scallion in the flour. And we need some scotchy. Scotch bonnet flavor gives fritters a very good flavor. Alright, see that? And now we're just waiting to add the water and the shrimp. Now we're good to go. You are planning to use this? Huh? The tomato, no? You can put everything in the in the thing.
So the only reason, guys, why we're 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 considering to saute the shrimp any at all is just to get you know some of the rawness out of it. So you do it's not a must that you want to saute your shrimp. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just doing it because you know you want to get that um seafoody flavor. So that's what we're doing right there. So I'm just gonna take this over to the pot and dump it in. Um, here, baby. Mm. All right, so I'm adding a little bit of scotchy to the flour because every now and then, when you bite a piece of your fritters, it is okay to come up with a little piece of scotch bonnet pepper, it makes for a nice, delightful taste in your mouth. I can tell this is real scotchy because it smells like the real deal, like the real Jamaican pepper. It smells Scottish. <laughs> Scotch. It smells Scottish. You know why Scotch bonnet means Scotch bonnet? Mm -mm. Because it looks like a Scottish bonnet, which yeah. is a hat. Yeah, that Scot this people from Scotland wear. Okay. I did not know that. So that's a little bit of um um FYI. The reason why Scotch bonnet is called Scotch bonnet is because it looks like the bonnet of a Scottish person. That little hat that they wear. You know them hat the way you wear when you go shower? Like shower cap or them look? Mm-hmm. All right, are we coming over there? If you want to, yeah. Okay. So over here, he has some skin, the shrimp and a little bit of his um, proprietary green, seed. green seasoning seed. and, and I'm just sauteing it in some um, coconut oil Ooh, and with a little bit of the tri, tri black pepper, the tri pepper. and if you mm. notice I'm not using a lot of oil because I don't want I want it, everything to dry out so we just we don't want it too wetty wetty mm. going into the pot and the shrimp is already pre-cooked so mm -hmm. it's just a matter of as you said getting out so. some of the raw seasoning that's that's right there. A little bit of shrimp for you, you know. You look a bit down. I'm me fit tell you. No, sir. Why make me cook such a little bit of shrimp? Me, my tell you. I'm going to take out some of the flour. No, I take out the more. Add more shrimp, you know. <laughs> Alright, so we just want this, this water to, to go down. You see, what happens when, when you buy previously cooked shrimp, is that it spring a lot of water because them 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 sort of soak it in a water. But it so, doesn't really matter though, you know, because remember we're gonna put water in. It. Yeah, me know, but what will happen is that when the water dry out, this up this are constantly re, re it gonna make the, the, the fritters soggy. Because this would have been constantly springing more water. Oh oh you oh. You see oh, what oh, I'm oh, saying? Exactly. So you just want to get rid of that water feeling. It smell good though. Mm -hmm. It smell like a little bread. <laughs> I will just work it. Let us just um, scrap the fritters idea and make a shrimp roll sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Why nobody make that shrimp roll instead of lobster roll? Because lobster is the prestigious um, point to the thing. That's next week's breakfast. Summer roll. Alright, so you ready for add this over there, so no? Yes. Alright, let's go. Follow the leader, 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 follow the leader, dump it out. Dump this into our... Oh, wow. This, something in there smells so good. Is it the thyme? A thyme, man. I don't know the thyme. The thyme, the thyme, the thyme. When people try to start decent, you know, the people fight them out, you know? <laughs> here you go. Hey, Camille, good morning. Brooklyn's in the house. Hold on, the New York I take over the thing. Yes, man, the New York. New York where are, where is everybody else? Everybody else on the chat. Let me let me know where you are logging in from because the New Yorkers are acting like they want to take over the thing. All right, let me know where everybody else is logging on from. I'm but New York, I'm a second woman. Now. <laughs> Until then, New York in the house. Hey, Brooklyn's in the house. Hey, Jamaica's hey, in the house. Hey, Miss in the house. <laughs> Jamaica's in the house. All right, so, yeah. 
This thing is starting to cook. Oh my gosh. Let me get the water. All right, so pretty much you just add your water now. I have a cup of water. I don't know. Can I get more water, please? and guess what guys you see when i'm making fritters i believe i i make it a little bit different from everybody else in terms of the consistency of the dough because traditionally in jamaica when when i used to make fritters or when i used to see my parents make fritters it used to be a more runny consistency and the fritters were more flat you know the, the size and the shape of the fritters was more flat but i like it when it's like a little poof ball you understand me a nice puffy small size but you know like a fluffy, stamp and go like a stamp and go all right so Adding some more water. So far, this is about two cups of water that I've added. And again, I'm not trying to get it too, too runny. This is usually the texture that I prefer. It's like in between runny and a regular dough. Right. Yeah, this is how I normally do it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Italy is in the house. Come on, come on. Italy is in the house. Hey, where's it? Camille, you're not acting. We are the it factor in the house. Okay, Brooklyn. Come true, come true. All right, so we're pretty much ready for frying now. And this is this is kind of gross for some people, but I don't mind tasting. I taste the dough a little bit to see if it's fine. Hmm. Okay, it's fine. No, it doesn't need any more salt. Pepper. Pepper. Mm -hmm. Um. Little yeah, I could put a little more cayenne, and I'm putting a little more paprika. I don't know why I like using paprika. More cayenne to the thing. Yes, yes. And I'm always very, very, very conservative with pepper, guys, because I can't tolerate pepper. I like the flavor of it, but my stomach can't really tolerate it. And so I prefer to put too little because you can always add if it needs more. But if you put too much, it's that the dish is ruined. You know, so I like shuttle, guys. <laughs> I'm not lying. Really I'm not lying. She realized that me just to act, me act enough here, you understand? So she don't need no more pepper in her life because I'm just already so hot. <laughs> My girl said, I saw the stamp and go for the first time at Bajan and Trini get together in Brooklyn. Okay. Okay. What kind of stamp and go did they make though? Was it? Saltfish. That's always saltfish. Stamp and go is always saltfish. Really? Yes. So why I thought stamp and go was just another name for fritters? No, but it's always saltfish fritters. So what about conch? What is conch fritters? Conch fritters are conch fritters. That has nothing to do with stamp and go. As a matter of fact, the conch people don't really know the picture. Oh, so Trinidad and ba ba Barbadian, Bajans call it stamp and go? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. All right. Yes, Cardi. <laughs> you you use it mm, You can we can rinse it out if you want. I, I come in. Engage, engage. Go, engage. Mm. 
All right, so we're kind of waiting on the, the pot to be ready. And as for me, when I'm eating um, fritters, I always, always like to eat some fried plantain with it. I feel like it's a nice contrast in, in flavors when you have a little sweet. My girl, you eat fried plantain with everything. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that's salty, I, I always like to eat plantain with it. I'm a plant. Anybody else out there is a ripe plantain lover? If you've if you've never eaten a ripe plantain, I'm gonna implore you to go try it out. You will love it. You will love it. You love it. So I'm gonna start cutting up a little bit of this because we're gonna fry that after we fry the flitters. You have fried plantain, Pichu? No. Oh my lord. Yes. 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 And some people, I don't know if everybody on the chat is Jamaican, but if you're not, and you're not familiar with plantain, it may look like a banana, but it, it's not a banana. It's from the same family. They're probably third cousins or something like that, but it's it, this, this you can't eat raw. You can't eat this raw, but you can't eat banana raw. That's one of the first differences. This is bigger. The bananas are usually smaller and um they serve two different nutritional purpose i believe so this is how i cut it on the bias like such and because some people saw it not like i'm ridiculous for wanting it i'm not gonna do any more than one because i'm gonna eat all of this by myself right wow right Right, all right, so this is the plantain ready. Come put your oil in. Third you cousin. Open? You love red plantain, um, Shana, right? Shana always a back here. You know, so Shana is big. <laughs> oh, it was selfish um, fritters that they did. Okay, like, well, if he was already saying that that was what they traditionally call compound go. Big up Lisa, big up, big up yourself. Working from home today and I'm going to make some fry rye plantain as well. Of course! Uh, big Lisa, up. stop it, man. <laughs> fry rye plantain to the thing. Lisa does a giant in the, in the, 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 idiot, the idiot thing. Start about fry rye plantain. All right, so we're over here, guys, right? We have the pot all poised and ready, somewhat. And in the pot, I have some, a mixture of sunflower and extra virgin olive oil, which is the oil of choice for today. This thing put back in a... <laughs> And one thing that I want to point out when you guys are frying, don't pay any attention to that thing in the back. The file paper <laughs> want to change. In fact, so let me do this. I got you, babe. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. So we have the oil here. You need more oil than this? Yes, that's what I was going to say to the people. When you're frying fritters especially, you want to deep fry it. If you don't deep fry it, all it do is suck up the oil. I can't tell you. There are some things on the spectrum. You that can't I say suck up. You have to say absorb. I have to teach you all these time. <laughs> but suck up the oil. I mean, I, this, when I'm talking, I'm talking foreign. I talk in foreign, foreign language. Which foreign language is that? Eh? English. So this oil now have to get to a certain um, heat yes, level. Yes, yes, it does. I'm, wait, I'm waiting on it to get there. I feel like this is running. It's not running. It's okay. Oh, I get it to be like how I like it. It's okay. Tell me, guys, is this running? It not look like the right consistency. Yeah, it's fine. It look right consistency, yes, to me. This is 
so you did a test just make a local top going the oil and of course it's not ready or else so the oil has to come up to temperature guys and the word for today is what's the word for today oh <laughs> 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 not temperature. You should not be lukewarm. <laughs> it it must be hot to temperature. <laughs> <laughs> you can always turn any word into the word of the day. Huh? You know, me? any word misspelled out now, any word misspelled out now, you're supposed to can turn that into a spiritual word of the day. So temperature is the word. Yes. Well. Dwight Hall, green plantings, me say, yes, Dwight, yes, sir, yes, sir. Green, green plantings, plantings. Has its place. green this plantings, me agree with you, sir. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> no, plantings. wait, name there. But, guys, this is just an awesome alternative to the regular um, um, saltfish fritters, especially if you're watching your, your salt content. You know, you can always just Tony Hanna make fashion. You can make saltfish fritters, you can make lobster fritters, you can make crab. I'm going to make crab meat fritters next. Um, you know, I'm going to try it um, one of these days. Yeah, so this is what we're doing now. We're just ladling the fritters into our oil. We're just not using a ladle. Or spooning the fritters into our oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not good. I mean, it says it's perfect. It are perfect mundo. Awesome, awesome sauce. And you want to keep make sure you have spacing in the pot so that you know they in a run. The diminishing marginal it, utility. <laughs> the diminishing marginal utility of the supernatural. Lisa Marie, I was trying to explain that saying to some American co-workers yesterday. Turn your hand make fashion and I couldn't remember. Oh, Lisa, it simply means use what you have, what is available to you, and make something awesome out of it. You know, the idea is, uh, in a literal sense, you have maybe, you know, um, pieces of cloth, scraps, and you want to make a dress, mm -hmm. you know, you, you turn your hand, you use what you have to make fashion, to make it work, yeah. you know, and that's what we do, especially in Jamaica, consistency, um, consistently providing food every day for, for mothers out of, you know, the, 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 the lack, everything had to be essential, and so the whole proverb of turning your hand to make fashion means be creative. Even today's breakfast is an example of turning a handmade fashion because this is traditionally saltfish, saltfish fritters, fritters, but yeah. we're using something else. Yeah, and it look, see, it look pretty already, eh? Guys, and this don't take long to cook. It not take long to cook at all. You want to make sure you monitor your heat. You, you, you have to be just in that sweet spot mm -hmm. where it won't absorb too much and it won't burn. And I like light brown fritters. I don't like when they're too dark. I like mine's a little bit on the darker side, but not not black this is but like when it's crusty mm -hmm. oh let me show you outside that's my backyard guys here in miami and we have clothes line and we have one old barbecue grill here and those are the neighbors over there so just a show now because with their miami but i still jamaica you must be mad yeah, so my, 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 my clothes pin them up on the line. Mm -hmm. And some lizard out there, some big grung lizard out there, see guys, you think of Jamaica. Yeah, and them brave, them don't want to run when you run them. And me, me feel like, me don't know if I have to talk to the lizard them, because they don't understand part one. <laughs> That's why they're not leaving. Yeah, because I say, go ahead, them now move. When I say, shield, them <laughs> move. Go <laughs> for the fritters, man. Woohoo! This one of mine, this are mine, that are mine, the middle one they are mine. Oh, that is mine. I need like one and two for you. 
I'm going to try the shrimp pickles because I love shrimp. What kind of oil are you using? I'm use, we're using sunflower oil mixed with extra virgin oil, um, extra virgin olive oil. Um, please guys, be aware that canola oil is not something that you should be using. Yes guys, we're using olive oil and um, sunflower oil mix. Uh, most people, as I was saying before we, we got paused, uh, try not to use canola oil if you if you don't if you if you don't have to use it don't use it because the ingredients are poisonous all right it has been processed in such a way that it, it it's somewhat safe to use but the long-term effect has not been evaluated so that's what at least that's what i i heard please check it go ahead and google it and check it for yourself make sure you do your research on on the canola oil situation want to stop with these bits okay so we're just gonna pause with these and try to make up uh, oh yeah forget about the plants you know i'm gonna go for them vegetable oil is okay again most vegetable oil really and truly have soya bean as their source and so you you need to also check the source of the vegetables that is in the vegetable oil and uh, guys this is no hard and fast you just have to check um uh, we're not here advocating for anything other than do the best with your little body um to preserve yourself um we're not that staunch on uh way that's you know healthy eating well we try as much as possible to eat healthy but it's not like this channel is about healthy eating this channel is just about being creative with our cultural preferences and being um adventurous when it comes to food uh try your best to you know incorporate little different things into your diet to make your diet you know unique you know uh for many jamaicans we have not ventured into other cultural preferences and i have some really nice cultural dishes on my channel that you would be like you would be flabbergasted over how great those are don't see and you notice I use the word flabbergasted it's because it's the flabber and it's very gasted. <laughs> so make sure I use the word. Oh, can you please take out those little crispy pieces out of the pot for me? Because I, I normally um I normally eat them. Really? Yes, because they're very crispy and nice. Mm. Crispy and nice. I miss the crispy and nice. Crispy and nice, crispy and nice. All right, so we're gonna set up a little plate now for you guys and make you see the results. Let me move some stuff out the way. Move some stuff out the way. And they say, move some stuff out the way. Anytime you have things into your life, just move some stuff out the way. Move some stuff out of the way. Move some stuff out of the way. Many times you have some things in your life, just move some stuff out of the way. Hooray. Move. <laughs> uh, uh, you know the problem is. Oh, sorry guys. My phone fell. You were going to say something bad about this one. I was going to say something. The problem that you have in life, right, is when your wife, your significant other, is as full as you are. You understand? Can't get nothing done. All right. So, see, you want to help me with the presentation? Hmm? Avocados. Avocados. And guys, we get these um, avocados at our local supermarket. Every time you buy avocados in America, it's a gamble. You don't know where you're going to get. It's like you play a lottery. Eh? It's like you play a lottery. You open it and you're not sure what go on until you, you, you see if it's green or not. You could just open it and it's all black. So, it's a struggle. But life is... Oh, hallelujah, we win the lottery. Good? Yes, we just won the lottery. We want the lottery. This avocado is good. Uh, 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 uh. We want the lottery. Get up, everybody, and eat avocado. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 
I'm trying my best, guys. Bear with me, please. Oh, you can talk about your apple, your peaches, and your plum. Cinnamon, I ain't on your cinnamon tree. But give me, oh, give me, I really wish you would. That shrimp fritters hanging on the vine. Yes. Not shrimp fritters on the bun of vine. Where are you seeing the right thing? Why are we using a small, tiny plate though? Get the big plate. I'm about to pile them on. Pile them. Pile them high. Put the, the, fr the fritters down first then. Ooh. And guys, we are yet to do the taste test. This is this again can be a gamble. <laughs> Making fritters is a gamble. Without doing your 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 unless taste. let me tell you how you how you unless unless it can be <laughs> <laughs> unless unless you guys nailed down a recipe and actually measure the you ingredients. You nailed down the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> you're not funny. I'm telling you, you're not funny. <laughs> No, you have to pile them. Pile you put them? them high. Yeah. Like when you make fire? Yeah, and you're doing them upside down though. Because I'm all about the color. I'm all about that base. About that base. No treble. That's not pile high. Ouch! The plant them hot man. The plant them up on me. Put a plantain somewhere. Watch my lead. Just watch my lead. I'm the pro at this. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tenniel. Uh, when I was made, the Lord said I needed somebody as eccentric as I am. So he sent me this one. <gasps> That's fine now. Let's get some scallion on top and then a little dot of the sweet chili sauce. Mm, get some Bam! Pretty on your pretty tomato. You sure? No, no, no. No, no. Mmm, guys, all this look. Oh. All this, this mound of fritters look. Mm -mm. Fritters taste good, my girl. For real? What? Mm -hmm. No, man, it hurt Thank me. God, we won the lottery on no, that one. No, man. Them fritters, you are taking life. No, star. Can you say she can't smell it through the phone? <laughs> my girl. Oh no, I miss out on that fritters, I'm not telling you. The fritters, it chill. The fritters are shot. We need to bring it to another level now. Watch this, watch this. A little greenery take everything to the other level. So we're adding some scallion on top. It's just dropping in the crevices. <laughs> Can I see? <laughs> it's about man, don't worry about it. Oh, my thing look, my thing look, turn top. Turn up, my thing looks so turn up. Okay, guys, and I have a hack. We're going to be using this sauce, which is sweet chili sauce, right? Right. Right. Wait, wait, watch it, watch it. It won't focus on my sweet chili sauce. Because it don't want it. He wants it. So what I did was I poured a little bit in this bag because I want to make sure it comes out in little dots, right? Right. So I'm going to just cut the tip of the bag. Very tiny. Tiny tip. At the mouth of the bag. And then this is what you do. Oh. <coughs> Dip. Dab. A tiny tip that looks like it's it spilled out on the whole thing. 
And guys, when you dip fritters in um, a sauce like this, why is somebody blowing? It's not thick enough. It's running. <laughs> yeah, the sauce is not thick enough. So the sauce is running. Oh boy. So what you do is this. So okay, so the sauce situation is not cooperating. So I'm just gonna put the sauce in this here. This here container. Wait for this container, so <sighs> something is wrong, and I can't tell what it is. All right, so I think I should wipe off about the red stuff. What do you guys think? I think the red stuff is make it see. Really? Sure? I'm full for food. Now you're food. I'm for food. I'm full for food. Do you have a recipe for a sock sock? <laughs> <laughs> Any kind of juice in you know our bag. You know what I say? 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 You know what I'm gonna make that. I'm right. gonna make some sock sock. You'll be surprised. Hold dog. Hold dog. Hold dog. What's your hold dog? Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Well, you can ask the girl. These people are crazy. So this is the this is the end result, guys. This is the end result. Um. That. Just gonna let the wifey take her her Instagram picture now. Instagram picture now. Yeah. That sucks sort of argument that have me weak now, you know. I know me have to find me have to find syrup and all these things. <laughs> all these things. Mm -hmm. What am I put lemon and and, and syrup, right? Lemon here, don't put lemon. Yeah, anything can be sucks up if you ask me. All right, so let me see if I get a Instagram photo before we go. Yeah. Here we go. And be sure to follow Yardy Belly TV on Instagram, guys. On One True Natural on Instagram also. And you will see many more. Lover. And Josh the Food Lover on Instagram too. Yes, this should have been in the middle. Right? If we had... So do it over. Do it over? Of course. Are you, you know, kidding me? Already. Guys. He being serious right now. My girl, I want you. You don't know, you don't know if you turn here and make fashion. Put the, the bowl down. Put the bowl down. Yeah, may I show you how you turn here and make fashion. I want you. you. Put the fritters in. Make the avocado them stay right where them there. <gasps> also, we have to deconstruct, reconstruct the thing again. You know, it's as I think of. Destruct. <laughs> Put it right there. Right there, right there. All right, pass the rest of the rest of the, the um, plantings. Yeah, we're supposed to have a couple more. I saw the thing set. You have to just turn it on and make fashion. Yeah. All right, I don't want to put no more planting. Fix that all up here. There. Mm-hmm. Cause by right when you 
make something and it has a sauce, the sauce should be in the middle, so I guess that's the upgrade, the updated version of it. So guys, next time on the think about making fritters, looking at the kitchen, find something that useful and turn it on make fashion. If you don't have saltfish, that no means the fritters can't make. You can make sardine yeah, fritters too, you know. Fritter, somebody over there saw big fritters. You know, see what I do with Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I tell her I don't take customer on Thursday. You know. When you take customer on Thursday, they come in here to beg off my food. <laughs> Today's customer is none other than my friend. <laughs> so that's why we treated her that way. <laughs> Alright, so let's try that Let's again. Say, it's nice, it's nice, it's nice, it's nice, it's nice, it's nice at you. You know what that no more than run water. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is how it is now with the something that make it look a little bit more official, you know what I'm saying? Make a little bit of a difference. Yes, so I am about to boogie. All right, so you're not going to taste it, me? You taste it. Me taste it. Fiona can taste it. I'm not sure. But you have to be on the camera. I have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, <I> look good. <laughs> Alright. I'm just trying to tighten up this thing and put that thing and send that thing. Alright. Yeah, so we have to do a taste test because, as we said, this is the first time making the fritters, right? So, let me take one. When you make the fritters, then the fritters them come out nice and fluffy. When me make them, them flat and look like like pancake. Why? You see? Mm, because it's all about how you place it. Yeah. Yeah. Dip it. Dip it. Mm-hmm. You know it's all shrimp fritters. Oh, she allergic to seafood. <laughs> if you want seafood, you make your belly run. Mm-mm. Come on, you couldn't say it. Mm. This is sumptuous. It's so... <laughs> mm. It's sumptuous. <laughs> mm. It tastes good? Delicious. Sumptuous. Come and check some belly. Alright. $20 may I sell one for. So, how much you just, how much you just eat that while we know? She just eats $10 right. This anyway. is lovely. You had the belly? Mm. Yeah, peace out. Until next time, thank you for watching You Had the Belly TV Breakfast Live. Join us again next week. You don't know what we're going to come with, but it's not going to be nothing normal. It's going to be something over the top, so. Stay tuned. Subscribe, like, share, tell your friend, tell your auntie, uncle, everybody. I'm going to the shop now, Paige, and get something out of it. Yeah, get one of these shirts. Funny handmade fashion. And it explains what that means. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Mm. All right. Know. Mm. Oh, I'm a plant. Mm. Sweet and salty. Mm. This is good. Mm. It's wake me up. Let us know when you try it, guys, how you like it. And tell me how is the best way you make your fritters. I think the girl closed all this up a long time.